I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Where we could run our business free from interference from the police. The government. The army. The Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me. Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño.
agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman. International aid worker. you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. Taking vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, uh... Deploying drone. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. A target carrying submachine guns. I got a third. Got eyes on the target. Let's move.
Got it, moving. The red one just got shot. He's looking for the source. Opening fire. Got another tango. I got a third target. Fuck, man.
cooperate to the Sadra Bien. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down a
and rescue Amaru. I've got the bike. Drone is airborne. I'm spotting another tango. And baby makes three. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Here's target number five. up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. I got two Sicarios. Inside the barn. Take a look. Getting a position. 
ready to fire. Okay, we're cool. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Sé que escuchen bien. El yo no perdona. Alguien ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Position. Check it out. Weapons case. Good to go. Got him. Okay, we're cool. This will go nice with my boots. Que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Así que escuchen bien. El yo no perdona. Alguien ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Todavía no estamos a salvo. Pero Dios le pagará esto que ha hecho por mí. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. I got it. I'll fly. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces, pa' cantar y hazme el deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. in a weapons case. Hola. Awesome. I can put this to use.
Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. 
That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Murrow, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Murrow's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Okay, Tal, got a tip on the cartel in the area? Gracias. Got some details on a network. Bird station ripe for the picking. Let's go shut it down. Nomad, I've got Pacatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and... ...restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. Gear, hold on. Fuck, engage him. Ah, shit, we've been spotted. Okay, let's focus on the mission. Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Comiencen el ataque.
taking the bike. GPS says the place is named Yopil. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chased everybody off. is up. Hey, we got a narco. Sit down. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. He makes five. I spotted one with submachine guns. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Yo, cartel gunman, over by the dump. Spotted one with some machine guns.
Frag out. over here. Hemos totalizado la última posición conocida del enemigo, pero han desaparecido, comenzando una nueva búsqueda ahora mismo. We got a 20 in the garage where Pleto parks his sports car. Snag that, snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are.
Flag out. I'm in here to Culeros. one of these. no dio resultados. El enemigo se ha retirado. I'll fly.
check out that cartel supply plane. Looks loaded and ready to go. Well, shit. If they left the keys in the ignition, the dumbasses deserve what they get. Let's take it. I got another. That's five. Getting a position. Ready to fire. Engaging. Shit, he knows he's taking fire. They're on to us. Stick with it. Watch the airstrip. We good? Shit got close for a second there. It's a Santa Blanca commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this. Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform? Fucking hell!
Gracias por eso, hermano. Ahora toca con un buen extranjero. Buenas a mierda de los árboles. Gracias por darme otra oportunidad. Deploying drone. Sniper out there. Ustedes las estaba buscando, mis pequeñas asesinas. That LT is getting away. We got rebels throwing down with the cartel. What's our play? We got rebels throwing down with the cartel. What's our play? Get in position. Ready to engage. Shit balls. Bowman, we tracked El Chido's agent to a meeting with Santa Blanca. The cartel people were really big on him spreading his promotional materials. There's a promo truck that'll be making the rounds of this part of Bolivia. El Chido's a big deal for their influence. That truck will just spread cartel propaganda. So we take out the promo truck. Holt loves blowing shit up. I can't just blow up the truck. Back, Bowman. What happened? Wait, you know what? Never mind. We can't just blow up the truck. There's got to be a warehouse stocking more promo materials. We swap out the truck for one loaded with C4. I'll have Pacatari's people come up with a copy of the promo truck. When that truck goes back to the warehouse full of promotional material, that's when we blow it. Sounds high risk. You already have a truck? I'll get what we need. You just need to get the truck. 
can keep your nose to the ground to see what else we can do to undermine the cartel's influence in the province. Got it. We'll get your truck. <laughs> Hang on, I'll drive. And it's only through her that we can safely reach our paradise. He makes five.
eliminated. Target is down. What's up, Karen? Thanks for that intel on the rival cartel. A bit of misinformation, all that cloak is down. Target eliminated. That's bad guy. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Ah, I could use this. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Urian Fleet for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are. But he's sitting in an Unidad firebase. I'll pilot.
Bowman. We're crossing into Malka province. Any intel on the area? Oh, shit. You should be near El Chido. Is that bad, or...? The biggest name in Narco Corrido. Music that sings the praises of drug traffickers. I can't see I know his stuff. Well, you should. He's the public face of the enemy. The propaganda and recruiting machine with a voice like Velvet. His fans are so nuts for him. This past August, when he refused to go on stage in Anaheim because of some pay dispute, the audience rioted, wrecked the venue. So he's got influence. Find out everything you can about El Chido's visit so we can ruin it. He'll probably be keeping a low profile, but you can bet his agent will be making the rounds, looking for any way to make this trip profitable. Got it. We'll focus on finding that agent. This is the hangar where the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. I see a second target. Tango number three. That's five tangos. Tango down. This province is part of the cartel's influence operation, the propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their M.O. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. Drone is up. I got another tango. Third target. Count is now five. I 
got a target carrying submachine guns. This is the hangar where the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. What's up, girls? Let's do this. We got somebody in this in this little warehouse. He's down. I'm going for the truck. So every time you go for the truck, it tells you that, that you lose it because they see you? That's just stupid. Alright, I got three guys in front of me. Yeah, the, those three guys on top of the balcony. Alright, two of them are coming to you. Take the guy in front, I'll take the guy in back. Alright, they, they're leaving. Yeah, they're walking away, they don't see you. Oh. Shit. Fuck.
see what I. The reason why I was down there already is because I didn't. I wasn't expecting them to say mission failed if they saw you in the truck. It's like you can just get in there without being detected and leave with the truck, and then you're good. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess uh, we gotta just take everybody out. No, you'll definitely get spotted. I mean, there's three guys that saw you from far away. Of course, you can get, you're gonna fail it. I'll take your word on it. All right, I guess uh, just kill everybody. All right, just to let you know, I mean, I just got started a new game with this because I guess I lost all my whole file the last game. So, I don't know if my guns are just are as good as yours, but, I mean, skills, it's a different story. That helps. Alright, let's see. Patience and ski, man. Patience and ski. I know there's one guy that's, uh... We're we'll going this little shed this down here. Before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. All right, that's Stay one guy. Sight and let's get this done fast. Oh no no, I'm, not, I'm right by you. I'm grabbing the I was using the drone. All right, so Drone is airborne. Out. Oh, you're talking about the far ones? Let's see if I, if I can even see that far. Yeah, I don't know if I can see it. I do, but the scope isn't all that. I think I can get... I mean, I think we can take on the ones that are up close. Do we have everybody tagged in here? Is everybody tagged? Oh no, I'm saying like, uh, I don't know if you noticed, like when they're an orange dot, that means that we know where they're at, but if it's like a huge orange, um, like huge orange area, that means we haven't found the guy's location specifically. You know what I mean? Just spotted one with submachine guns. Alright, I got those two guys that are in the building. There's one more in here. There's like three of them in here. I'm trying to get his location too. I need to get closer on that one. There's a civvy. I'm taking this guy out. Alright, I'll take this bottom one out. You got detected. What happened? What did you do? From all the way out there, you got detected? Man, game logic. Somebody can see that far away, huh? <laughs> yeah, but can they really find you that, like, that easily? Come on. Maybe they got binoculars, but... True. What I say, I, you know what I think? I think we should just clear a path, avoid the guys that are all the way on top, and then just take the take the truck. I'm sure there's like a there's like a, a row that takes us away. You know what I mean? All right, so like the main guys.
Alright. Let's try that. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and sneak in there and get the truck. He's out. Alright, we got those three in there in that little building that's over there. Two. Looking at a small group of tangos. Alright, got all three of them. Took him out. Mm -hmm. You've been stuck on this mission for a while, man. We got this, bro. I got. I, I. I got faith in us. We got this shit. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, we take out all those guys, but like, um, there's one guy that stays on the bottom. And then another one stays outside on the top. You just take them out one by one when they're not see when, not, when none of them are looking at each other. Our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. All right, two tagged. Yeah, watch my back on top, and I'm gonna try getting all these guys. I'll point out which one uh, to take out because I can't find this third one. Where's the third one at? Crap, I couldn't get the third one. Taking this one guy out right here. I got him. I'll let you know. 
All right, are all three of these guys tagged over here? No, they're not. Still one more. Got him. All right. There's one down low. Can you take him out? Hold on. Hold on. Never mind. Don't take him out. Don't take him out. I got a better position. All right, I don't know. Can you see that building or no? He's sitting right. Yeah, he's sitting right across from him. You can see number two from where you're at. Yeah, I can't get eyes. I can't get eyes on him. Yeah, I can't get eyes on him. From where I'm at, I can't see him. Alright. Here comes number one. Alright, you can take on number one. Yeah, before he gets away from the stairs, I'll take out the guy that's on low. He saw you? Oh, shit. Oh man. Alright. Whole downstairs is the whole bottom area is clear. I'm going for the truck. Alright. I think there's more people around here. Right behind the truck though. Where are these guys at? They're in this big warehouse over here. Mm. Alright, I don't know if these guys can see me when I'm if I'm gonna go for, for this truck. Because they're in a warehouse that's totally away from uh, the truck. Can any of them see the truck? Yeah, I don't think they can see me. Look at all this. I'm gonna take a couple of these CDs. You can buy his MP3s online. This is free. Worry about the music later. Time is a factor, people. Let's just get to the RV and get back with the other truck before anybody's the wiser. All right. I'm right by you. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Alright. If we get caught up by Unilad, where they get Unilad, they don't they don't do anything, right? We're on a timer. Oh man. Alright, I think we can go around it. Let's hope we can make that. We were, but there's another there's another uh direction we can take. I mean let's hope we can make that.
one minute. How far are we from that place? Think we can make it? 30 seconds. Come on. Oh man, 30 seconds. Switch out trucks and start heading back. Okay, Royo amigo, you got a truck to swap out? Oh, what? Why did it fail? All that in two minutes? That's insanity. Okay, so he can't take it the long way then. Wow, that was ridiculous. I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> oh, man. That means every... I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to kill everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought we had that. Where the well? Dude, I don't even know if I can see the mission objectives. I don't even know where, where the hell they're at. Okay, that's one thing. Locate the mission truck without being detected. How do you check the what's called the objectives? Okay. located the warehouse where the equipment is being stored for El Chido's concert. We're going to use the concert's promo truck to take it out. All you have to do is steal it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the yellow area. We've located the warehouse where the equipment is being stored for El Chido's concert. We're going to use the concert's promo truck to take it out. Oh, wait. All you have to do You're talking about in-game triangle yellow circle? Hold on, I'm going, I'm going to the other circle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, man, I thought they were going to give us more than just that. I was, I was thinking that they'd probably give us, like, what the next objective is after we take the promo truck. Alright, you know what? Alright. Let's fuck let's just kill everybody. Might as well. Okay. And I'm gonna take out this guy first. Eyes on the third. Deploying drone. Alright, uh, one down. So yeah, this guy in the warehouse. This is the hangar where the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down. I got him. Before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. 
All right, got all three of those guys tagged up at uh, that little building. Oh. Almost got checked. I almost got detected. Yeah. Got him. Alright, let's take out these guys next. Going to this warehouse. They heard that. Yeah, they did. But I don't think they know where you're at, though. Dead body found. Shit. Maybe the guy that was outside. Because there's two of them that walk outside. That's probably why. Oh man, that irked my life right there, man. I thought we had it for the other time. Man, that really pissed me off. Like, dude. It would be nice for you guys to tell us what's next. Alright, um... So, I'm thinking, let's tag all three of these guys that are at that house. Because that's our biggest, that's our biggest, like, problem right now. Those three guys in that house. Mine's in a small group of tangos. Let me get this out quick. Oh, shit. Second target, right there. This is new. Third target. You got all three? Eyes on a third. This is the hangover the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay that was really sight, close. I only got caught by that one guy. Yeah. The drone is up. Count is now five. Two. I'm looking at a small group three. of Three. Got three. Okay, um, let's figure this out. Alright, I'm gonna try taking out the guy in the bottom. And then after that, we'll figure it out with the guys, two guys on the top. There's two of them that are outside. So you got the top. Alright. I'm going in for this last guy. Or if you can, if you can take a shot, take it. Hold on. Hold on.
Got him. Got him. We're good. All right, clear. All right. Next up, don't get near the truck because I know there's a timer that starts click that starts ticking after you get near there. All right. Next up, you guys on top. Let me try getting a clear position to get a clear hold of him. Got an ammo. Going upstairs. It's like it came from a box of cereal or the Air Force or something. All right, yeah, I can't get our eyes on these guys. Yeah, I see them around. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but the thing is, if if um if we do take it, we have to go we have to go past them. You know what I mean? You gotta go past these guys to get to the, get to the guy we're going to. That's gonna be a problem. All right, wait, they're separating. They're separating. Take 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 this guy out. Yeah. Can't take it. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these guys that are in here. This back area. Going out. This is shit. What happened? Damn. You know what? Let's try not taking out those guys on top. And let's take the guys down low where we're at. And then after that, we'll just drive it past them. Um, one of us makes sure, like, we just, uh, how do we explain it? One of us makes sure that the bridge that's on top of the road is clear. And then we drive right past them. They probably won't even notice that we're driving through. Leave the guys on top, because I mean they're all. Cause, as you can see, they're all spread out. We can't really take them out. And then after that, we just um. You you want me to take the truck? All right. I'll take the truck, and you just let me know when they're all spread out. Like they're not near the bridge. You know which bridge I'm talking about? There's like a little bridge that's over there. Drone is airborne. All right. If you take your, do you have your drone? All right. There's like a little bridge on top of the road. If you take the if you take the drone, it's like literally right between all three of those uh, the big three water circles. Eyes in a small group of tangos. All right. This is the hangar where the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay it's out of sight and let's guys. get this done fast. Looking 
at a small group of tangos. Ignore that. Ignore that uh, sink shot. Alright, that guy's out. I'm going to these two guys next. I'm gonna get this third. I'm gonna tag this third guy. All right, got him. All right. One down. The guy. There's one guy upstairs. Take him out. Good shit. Two guys downstairs. They can stay. Only there. He's down. Yeah, they haven't. Jesus Christ, that was a close one. Oh, man. Yeah, I probably did. Man, this is harder than I was expecting. I think maybe three guys probably be a lot easier. This is the hangar where the truck is parked. Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. I got a target carrying submachine guns. All three tagged.
All right. Um. If you got a really clear shot, take it. That tank goes down. Good stuff. One, two. These two are in the back. One's co another one's coming in. I'm gonna take him up before and even go upstairs. Alright. Come on. They're both just t chilling inside the house. Yeah, they're both just sitting in the freaking house. One was coming out. Yep. Send out the drone. Make sure I keep an eye on him. He's going back inside. You got a clear shot on this one guy. You can't see any of them. Where was the guy you shot upstairs? Oh. Oh my god. He almost caught me. Still blinking? Take him out. Got him. Why is one of them blinking? Shit. Yeah, he probably did, damn it. Good stuff. Alright. I'm going up. It's only one guy. He's outside in the back. Got him. Oh my god. These guys legit give me anxiety right now. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, finally. Alright. Next up, this warehouse. I'm gonna try getting this warehouse out of the way. Can you get like clear uh can you get a clear sight on this warehouse or not? Um, if you can get a higher advantage, that'll be perfect. Tag. Let me try tag. I 
got another. That's five. Oh my god, there's four guys in here. How the hell are you supposed to take out these four guys? Oh man. Alright. Coming towards. I'm luring them out. I hope they heard the bear instead of me. Where'd you just shoot? Oh shit. Alright, I got these guys walking out. Oh wow, that was just freaking eight. Where the hell did these other guys come from? Oh shit. You think these guys can see us if what's called if we take the truck? I don't think so. They're all sitting in the warehouse. None of them are none of them are inside outside. So like one guy that's outside. You know what? Fuck it. I'm taking it. Here we go. Look at all this. I'm gonna take a couple of these CDs. You can buy his MP3s online. This is free. Where are you about oh to shit, come on, man. We don't even have to pass these guys up. Let's just get to the RV and get back with the other truck. What the hell, dude? All that freaking hassle for nothing. Oh, don't do that now. Alright, talk to the rebel. Que voy, amigo. You got a truck to swap out? Uh, your Spanish sounds almost. Okay, sure. Really, bro? Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Uh, your Spanish sounds. Alright, you got the truck? Why is it telling me to speak to the rebel, really? Let's get back on mission. Your Spanish sounds almost as bad as your English. Here's your truck. All that C4 is primed, and our bomb makers were all trained by communists. So take it slow on those curbs. Shit. You wanna drive it? No fucking way. I beat myself a bit just driving it here. Good luck. Oh my god. Really? Come on. You in? Go ahead. Nope. Be careful on uh be careful on the turns. That's what they're saying. Thirty seconds. No pressure at all, bro. Don't worry about it. Thirty seconds. 
No pressure. <laughs> So I got a better understanding. Oh. Alright. Uh, about to take a break now. Likely if I'm not playing Fortnite. All right, Art. Or, nice meet you, too, man. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Hey, if you can subscribe and uh, like the channel if you don't mind, that's cool with you. <laughs> All right, man. We'll play later again. Take care. <laughs>